Ambassador, when did it happen? When did what happen? The announcement. When did President Zelensky announce that the investigation was going to happen? On page 14, you said this. Was there a quid pro quo? Today's op your opening statement. As I testified previously, with regard to a qu requested White House call, White House meeting, the answer is yes, that there needed to be a public statement from President Zelensky. When the chairman asked you about the security assistance dollars, you said there needed to be a public announcement from Zelensky. So I'm asking you a simple question. When did that happen? Never did. Never did. They got the call July 25th. They got the meeting, not in the White House, but in New York on September 25th. They got the money on September 11th. When did the meeting happen again? Never did. You don't know who was in the meeting? Which meeting are you referring the to? The meeting that never happened. Who was in it? <laughs> you know how, people, you, you, know how Zelensky, <laughs> you know how Zelensky announced it? Did he tweet it? Did he do a press statement? Did he do a press conference? You know how that happened? I mean, no. you, you got all three of them wrong. They get the call, they get the meeting, they get the money. It's not two plus two, it's 0 for three. I mean, I, I've never seen anything like this. And, and you told Mr. Castor that the president never told you that the announcement had to happen to get anything. In fact, he didn't just not tell you that, he explicitly said the opposite. The gentleman from Texas just read it. You said to the president of the United States, what do you want from Ukraine? The president, I want nothing. I want no quid pro quo. I want Zelensky to do the right thing. I want him to do what he ran on. What did he run on, Mr. Or Ambassador Sondland? Transparency. And dealing with corruption, right? That's right. Mr. Castor raised another important point. Why didn't you put that statement in your opening statement? I think you said, you couldn't fit it in, is that right? You said we might be here for 46 <laughs> minutes instead of 45 it wasn't minutes. It wasn't purposeful, trust me. Wasn't purposeful? No. Couldn't fit it in a 23-page opener. The most important statement about the subject matter at hand, the President of the United States in a direct conversation with you about the issue at hand, and the President says, let me read it one more time. What do you want from Ukraine, Mr. President? I want nothing. I want no quid pro quo. I want this new guy brand new guy in politics, his party just took over. I want Zelensky to do the right thing. I want him to run on and do what he ran on, which is deal with corruption. And you can't find time to fit that in a 23-page opening statement. You know what a quid pro quo is? I do. This for that, right? Looks to me like Ukraine got that three times and we, there was no this. There was, we, we didn't do anything. Or excuse me, they didn't have to do anything. I, I've, I've never seen anything like that. And this is, this is, when the call came out, y'all remember this, when the call came out, everyone said, we're gonna quid pro quo. There's gonna be, a, th th that was what was in the call. And of course, of course that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Remember what, they, what the complaint said? Remember what the memo said of the whistleblower? This call was frightening. This call was scary, all those things. None of that materialized. None of that materialized. I yield back. In response to my colleagues, my colleagues seem to be under the impression that unless the president spoke the words, Ambassador Sondland, I am bribing the Ukrainian president, that there's no evidence of bribery. If he didn't say, Ambassador Sondland, I'm telling you, I'm not going to give the aid unless they do this, that there's no evidence of a quid pro quo on military aid. But nonetheless, Ambassador, you've given us a lot of evidence of precisely that conditionality of both the White House meeting and the military assistance. You've told us, Ambassador, have you not, that you emailed the Secretary of State and said that if these investigations uh, were announced, the new justice person was put in place, that the Ukrainians would be prepared to give the president what he wants, and that would break the logjam. You've testified and showed us documents about this, have you not, Ambassador? I have. And in your written statement, you say that the logjam you're referring to includes the logjam on security assistance, correct? Correct. As my presumption. Yes. And 
we also have seen, uh, and you testified, that you have also seen Ambassador, uh, or rather, Acting Chief of Staff Mulvaney himself acknowledge that the military aid was withheld in part over the investigation into 2016 that you've talked about. You referenced that as well, correct? Correct. Um, now, they also seem to say that, well, they got the money. The money may have been conditioned, but they got the money. Yes, they got caught. They got caught. Now, they still don't have the White House meeting. They made no statement. They got no meeting. The, way, the statement on the investigations was the condition to get the meeting. They didn't make the statement. They got no meeting. But they got caught. You're aware, aren't you, Ambassador, that two days before the aid was lifted, this inexplicable aid was lifted, Congress announced it was investigating this scheme. You're aware of that, aren't you, Ambassador? I am now, yes. 